Okay, so hey guys, today I wanted to make a short video about my client since I made it public. And I wanted to talk about the features that make it different from other clients and the things that you should know when using it. So like tips, tricks and generally showcase of the cool stuff. I'm not gonna show stuff, boring stuff like uh, like auto totem or I don't know, no weather because everyone has it. Every fucking client already has it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking about the cool, the actual cool stuff. So first of all, the most uh, noticeable stuff in the menu, of course, you have configs. So configs are basically presets of modules and settings of those modules. Uh, so for example, I have currently the chill config, but if I toggle on my base hunting config, as you can see, I'll get a lot of tracers to obsidian, chests, I'll get a, a storage ESP, I'll get Fulbright, and just generally all the good stuff for base hunting. Uh, the null uh, config I made is just a config with nothing enabled. Uh, but I'm gonna stick with the uh, chill for, for now. And uh, you might ask, how do you make a config? So to make a config, you just type in the create, uh, create config command, and then its name. And that will create a config with the current uh, toggled on features. Configs save automatically, so you don't need to click save anywhere or anything, it just automatically saves. Alright, so the second thing you probably see is the Lua's. The client has a very simple Lua API, but it allows you to like make a, a few couple cool modules. So for example, I have the auto no lag module, which basically allows me to uh, say at which distance uh, the parts of no lag of this module should be turned on. So as you can see, light, no 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 lag light will turn on when I'm less than 1200 units, meters, from spawn. And particles will turn on when I'm less than 4500. Very cool. I'm gonna put all my used Lua's in the description, so like you can download. So there's the, there will be the watermark Lua, uh, the no lag Lua and probably the source block ESP Lua because it's pretty cool. It shows you the source blocks. Uh, God dang it, there are no in my vicinity. Um, but yeah, that's it's it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave that in the description. More ESP shader. Uh, if you have ESP on style outline, uh, are there any mobs around? Pre please. Oh, there we go. As you can see, it will print like uh, it will make an outline around it instead of like a box or something kind of like future does for example but better okay um continuing continuing we have chams uh which um i don't really use but they're cool if you like them they basically allow you to change uh some some features some colors some overlays and stuff so you can basically make people look like this which is pretty cool if you ask me but like i am a, an, an enchanted char charge creeper right now but you know uh, it's uh if you like it you like it okay extra tab this is very important so what it does is if the tab goes over the max vanilla limit it will increase its size like currently it isn't but if it would be it would be like the entire width so you can see all the players always on tab also, it makes you golden and all the friends blue. I'll probably have a screenshot or something right now how it looks like. Okay, moving on, we have the nuker. Now, now the nuker, you might say, oh, nuker, nothing, nothing uh, cool and important, right? But it's actually very cool because if you notice, uh, the nuker, if I turn it to five, 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 is darn fast. Very fast. If I would turn off the the sound mods, uh, it would probably uh, be a fair lot uh, less loud and laggy. But I have a lot of sound mods, and those kind of oh wait turned on speed, uh, and those kind of make the game lag. But it doesn't lag if you don't have those sound mods. Because those like actually make a lot of. Uh... Why do I have pull down on? Also, we can search, of course. Haha, uh -huh, that's very cool. And it also highlights you the module and like here, yeah. see, very cool. Uh, so that was it for the nuker. It's very fast, uh, basically like creative, and uh, it, it's laggy only when you have mods on. Going forward, we have no glitch blocks here and no break cooldown here. 
in, in like, if you use both of them, you can break blocks pretty fast. As you can see, there is like normally in Minecraft this cooldown where when you hit a block, see, you have a cooldown for build, uh, for breaking, but with this, you don't. And with the no glitch blocks, the blocks won't glitch either, so pretty cool mining. Uh, furthermore, we have hit sounds and hit markers. Uh, hit sounds are here, they don't work because probably one of my mods is filtering it, uh, but hit, uh, hit markers here in render, they probably work, so... Let me try and find a mob. Okay, I went to the surface and I found these squid. So, if you look at what happens, see? See, it draws a hit marker, like a 3D one. Like, so it follows where you actually hit it. Very cool. Okay, so continuing, uh, I have a cautionary tale about using shaders. So if you want to use shaders, uh, I usually make just a separate config but make absolutely double triple sure that you have name tags turned off and you have ESP either turned off or turned on to style simplified. What simplified does is instead of drawing, uh, drawing shaders it draws boxes but if you use uh, style outline it will just freeze your game or crash it. Now if I'll have, I have the chill shader I can safely turn on some shaders for example, I don't know, Soldier's Vibrant Shaders. See, they work, like a charm, great. Okay, then next feature that I really like is the warnings display, which is here, if you turn it here, warnings. Uh, this will show various warnings, stuff like when your elytra is low, you can see that on my base hunting streams. Uh, stuff like uh, when your armor is low, when your tools are low, when you don't have any totems. Uh, Wait, I, I, can I actually show you? I'll disable auto totem to show you how it looks like. Uh, auto totem, and I'll drop all my totems. See, it shows me you have no totems because I don't. And it's just a warning for everyone because you have no totems. And the last and the most important feature of my client, arguably, is the waifu. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoy my client.